So basically, I freaking love. Oh, by the way, I got to remind you guys. I you I think I still have the link. If you guys want, if you don't have, you haven't opened a Schwab account, I can give you a link and you will make, I think it's like 300 bucks or even 500 bucks, man. Something like that. I can't, I don't get paid. So it's just my gift to you as subscribers. Um, I forgot what it was. I got to put the link on the account though. Uh, I'll put it, I'll, I'll remind it. I'll put it on the, on the link on this, on this thing. And I'll, I'll just do another video on that exclusively tomorrow. I totally forgot about that. I did a video the other day that says why you need a Schwab account. Um, and I totally forgot. Someone had told me like, Hey, send me a link. I can get 500 bucks. I said, Oh man, that's right. All right. So remember, I don't see your comments right now. So, all right, what we're going to do, here's a Vanguard. So this is that everything is available at Schwab. And what I wanted to do, um, is I wanted to, all right, sweet, is go back. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, I guess we I wanted to go back, uh, so we got Morningstar category, 30, 50% allocation equity, all right? Because uh, someone um, had said the, Pur the Fidelity Puritan Fund, which is the is closer to Wellington, not Wellesley. I want to have an inception date of over 10 years ago. Um, I want anything available at Schwab. I, I, I didn't really care about expenses. It had to be less than 1%, but we'll get in that. And I want three, four, and five-star ratings from Morningstar. Uh, and so here's Wells, and, and I'm, I'm looking at by inception date right here. All right, so here's the Wellesley, the Vanguard Wellesley, no low transaction fee. So this one is still open to investors. So you could literally buy the Vanguard Wellesley at Schwab. You cannot do that with, um, uh, with Wellington. So I was getting a lot of questions like, what's some alternatives to Wellington? And I have some good ones I'll share with you. The Vanguard Wellesley, you can buy at Schwab. I mean, I'm telling you, I did open at all funds at Schwab that you can buy into. Um, so we got no load, no fee. I don't know why this says no load, no. I don't know what this one says. No load, no fee there. No load transaction. Oh, transaction fee. You can buy the Wellesley, but you got to pay transaction fee. That's what it is. I have no idea what it is. I mean, I, you know, 45 bucks, something like that. But you can buy. It. That's a fact. So at Schwab, you can buy Wellesley. All right. But then I tell you, man, this one, so a couple of things jumped out at me. The permanent portfolio, I, I remember that? The per, I was like, damn, I, I was surprised to see that. So I want to look into that. The USA fund, I could not believe that. The USA fund jumped out. I was surprised by that. And that gets five stars. Wellesley gets five stars. I've, I've been a big fan of Franklin Income Fund for a long time. It goes back to 1948. It's a... Uh, 0.62% uh, is, exp is expense ratio, no load, no fee. And Franklin Income Fund used to be notorious for having a front end load. So that's pretty interesting. So we got some pretty good ones on here, man. We got T. Rowe Price, but the drawback here is these guys only go back to 1990s. I was really wanting something a little bit old older than that. So basically, we're going to go back to these guys right here. And I don't like, uh, look, I don't like Putnam. They, uh, they screwed the hooch back in, uh, was it 2000, 2001? Uh, I can't remember what the controversy was, but some of these funds were allowing after hours trades uh, for the close of business price. Uh, let me share how this works. This freaking pisses me off that the industry is so damn corrupt. So the market's closed at four, all right? If you make a trade in a mutual fund after the close, uh, it goes into the next day, all right? It goes to the close of the next day, not the beginning of the next day, the close of the next day with a mutual fund. ETF is different. This is before the, the rise of the ETFs. So if you may, if you were at 420, all right, and you called Vanguard to place a trade, Vanguard said, we'll process that trade at a close of business tomorrow. That's how mutual funds work. What these big managers would do is they'd recognize the market. They, they place trades at 420 for that day's close. They literally were backdating the trades. Putnam allowed that to happen. With the people who had money with Putnam, a lot of money, the big money managers had money with Putnam, were able to place a trade today at the essentially the previous day's close. It's completely corrupt. And I'll never forget Putnam for that. They all kiss my butt, man. Um, I'm not, Vanguard didn't do it. USA didn't do it. Uh, Putnam, Oppenheimer maybe? I can't remember. But I know Putnam did. That freaking pisses me off. I say, like, that's that's completely it's crook crooked couldn't believe it. it but there's the sec they're cracking down now they've never cracked down man 
but they'll go after you if you're a broker and you say something dastardly like everyone should do a Roth IRA. Oh, wow, you can't say that. All right, so anyway, let's take a look at uh, the, uh, so we'll start with the Franklin Income Fund. Um, so we're going to look at F, we're going to go back, yeah, right here, F-K-I-N-X. All right, so we're going to go back, we're going to go to F-K, we're just going to look, F-K, F-K-I-N-X. We're going to go to VW Winks. We're going to go to, what is the other one on here? Uh, then we're going to go to the PRPFX, PRPFX. PRPFX, there we go. And let's take a gander at what these guys have done. We're going to go back to 19, what is permanent portfolio? 1989, uh, 1982, good. So let's go back, perfect, 1982. So we're gonna go back to night. We can only go back to 1985. We're gonna go back to 1985, and we're gonna to go to the end of 2020, and we're gonna see what these guys have done. All right, now if we can, while we're waiting for that, let's look at the permanent port. Let's look at Franklin Income Fund. And I've been a big. Oh man. Okay, so I gotta get. All right, hold on a sec. We'll come back. So let's look at Franklin Income, Vanguard, Wellesley, and permanent portfolio. And let's see what, oh, so one of these guys is way behind. That's going to be permanent portfolio, way behind. So if you put 10,000 bucks in permanent portfolio, it's worth 116,000 today. Uh, 10,000 bucks in Wellesley is worth 200, Wellesley, yep. I mean, look at that. Wellesley is worth 253, 10,000 bucks in Franklin income is worth 253. Uh, yeah, Wellesley is two fifty. Wait, let's just make sure. Yep, ten thousand bucks in Wellesley is worth two fifty three. Ten thousand bucks and and uh, I mean that's that's a significant difference there, my friends. Look at that. I think you got to scratch the permanent portfolio off uh, your list there. I mean, just going back to historical from nineteen eighty five. You know, that's what's that thirty five years essentially? Yeah, thirty five years. And I just there's I mean it's just butt ugly, man. So uh, Wellesley has more than doubled a uh, permanent portfolio um, with the same amount of volatility, it looks like. Uh, Wellesley has done better than Franklin Income Fund with less volatility. And uh, well, actually, yeah, it looks like, yeah, without question. So let's look at the standard deviation. Uh, look at that. Yep, Wellesley has beat those with much less of a standard deviation, 6.61. Uh, Franklin Income Fund is 9.46. And the uh, and the permanent portfolio is eight point three four. So Wellesley has smoked these guys with a much lower volatility. Worst year, Wellesley nine point eight four. Franklin Income Fund is thirty uh, percent. Por permanent portfolio is eight point three six. So permanent portfolio uh, uh, did best on the downside, but not that much better. And then the maximum drawdown, you know, this can be from basically uh, October two thousand seven. Uh, to the end of uh, March of 2009, Wellesley was down 18, Franklin was down 39, and uh, the permanent portfolio was down 19. So uh, there you go. I mean, that's that. I think that speaks freaking. I, 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 what else can you look for here? So let's look at 2008. Yeah, right. Uh, I guess we already saw that. Let's look at 1990. Look at that. Wellesley was up. Uh, Franklin and permanent were down, not 87. Wellesley was was down in 87. The other two were up, uh, 894. They're all three were down. Uh, Wellesley was down uh, the second, uh, 99. Wellesley was down. The other two were up. Uh, let's see, right here, 2015. Wellesley was up. The other two were down. 2018. Wellesley, they're all down. Uh, that I just it's gonna be tough to be Wellesley. It really is. So let's look at. Uh, the USAA one was the only other one that jumped out at me. USAA uh, growth. No, no, what was it? Okay, I got I got uh, Hold on. Let me uh, stop the screen share for a second and log back into Schwab. All right. All right. Yeah. So that, that's, uh, I hope you guys are, look, I, I'm just telling you what I see real quick. I wouldn't, I mean, if, if, if Wellesley's still open, I'm not touching, oops, I'm not touching the, uh, um, the other two funds. That's for sure. So let's look back at, uh, oh, come on, man. Kill me. Uh, hold on just a second. Let me get to, uh, 
Okay, how do I get back to get on this way? How do I get back? Okay. All right, hold on just a second. Okay, here we go. Sweet. All right. So let's go to my save screens right there. All right, let me uh all right, so let me show you what I'm doing here. Um oops. Share screen. We're gonna go to right there. All right, cool. All right, it looks like we're good now. Um All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to uh, Schwab, the screen, uh, the mutual fund screener. Um, and, and basically what you're doing is you're going to, so you log in, you got research, mutual funds, um, fund screener. screener. So it's, it's, I mean, it takes some time and hunting, packing and stuff, but mutual funds uh, or research, mutual funds, fund screener. And then I just clicked on, you know, basically allocation. So we start here. I said I want allocation, and then I want to get rid of everything other than 30, 50. And then I wanted there's 192 funds in there. And I said, well, I want all funds at Schwab. I want the expense ratio to be less than one percent. I want it to be three, four, and five stars. And seems like I want all funds. Yeah, all funds at Schwab. And I want the inception debate over 10 years. And there's 42 matches. And uh, and then I just come up here. And I say, I want to see the inception date because I want a longevity of the fund. And we're going to go back to uh, USA growth. Okay, so USBLX is the USA one and FA. And then we got the fidelity FASMX. So bear with me just a second. We're going to go back to portfolio screener. USABX, uh, where was oh, US? What the hell was that? It was USBLX, US, US Blacks, USBLX, USBLX. All right. And then we're going to have uh, the fidelity was uh, Fast Mix. All right. So we got Fast Mix. So let's see what these guys have done going back to uh, inception. And this is going back to January 99. So we've got 30 years of experience. Let's take a gander. Um, portfolio two is Wellesley. Yeah, I mean, just <laughs> this goes back to 1990. Again, portfolio two, Wellesley's got the best track record by far. Portfolio three was a USAA one. I just you can't be Wellesley, man. I mean, this is just as freaking stellar. Look at that. We go to standard deviation. Uh, right here. Wellesley's got the lowest standard deviation. Um, the worst year. Look at that. Significantly lower than those other two funds. The max drawdown significantly lower. I mean, you just you can't beat that fund, man. Look at that. It's nuts. Better rates of return right here, 8.49, lower standard deviation, lower max drawdown, lower worst year. And one of the reasons for that is going to come back to the fees. If we look at the fees on these funds here, you know, here's Wellesley, 23 basis points. Franklin Income's three times that. Permanent portfolio is four times that. Fidelity is three times that. Uh, USA growth is eh, about two and a half times that. I mean, that compounds over years, man. You just can't be Wellesley. There's no other way around that. So I think we can write that one off that Wellesley is the way to go. Absolutely. Um, without, without question, there's just no debate on that to my, now someone could say, what about the Manning and Napier or whatever the hell that I, I don't know anything about it. I frankly, I'm not all that interested. What about the Hartford? Uh, I don't know. Hartford's another company that did that back trading too. Freaking pisses me off. Franklin. Nope. Thriving. Nope. American century is okay. Nope. MFS. No, 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 no. Uh, Wellesley is the way to go, and that is just a fact, my friends. All right, so if we 